I'm bored in Wales, you know. Well, you know. Christ. Oh, bugger off. And, you know, it's summer at the moment. Oh, turn that around. Oh, oh shit. Turn that around. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. And uh, I do Chucky Mark. Chucky Mark is my friend. Uh, and uh, I do videos as well, but in my own way. Chucky Mark uh, does speaking faces of himself. And you know, oh, and uh, excuse my wheezing, but I'm, uh, I'm suffering. I'm still suffering from hay fever. You know, my bloody bronchials are bloody wheezing like a fucking old bellows. Fucking old blacksmith's bellows. You know, fucking every bloody summer I'm, I get fucking wrecked by um, hay fever. Anyway, so seasons, you know, I've, I love my seasons, you know, but, you know, and Late winter is my favourite time. Well, it's my birthday as well. Anyway, so this is uh, Autumn Soon in Wales 2020, which I did last uh, autumn. And um, I was going to post it uh, online around the world. And, uh, and then I got arrested by the coppers for um, talking about, on BBC site, about their ex-employee. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy Sarville, you know, I no, well, better not go there or I get bloody, I'm not, I'm not supposed to talk about it, but okay, that's what I want. But I got friends, uh, well, I'll be able to, uh, you're lucky I don't cling to me, is because I think what I said was, anyway, Autumn in Wales, 2020, so Autumn in Wales, uh, end of September, 2021, it'll be, so anyway, here we go. Oh, go on. Oh, shit. Oh, Christy, don't. Oh, fucking wank in. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I hope you can see this. Because uh, I got the camera. I turned the camera around uh, uh, so that, uh, you know, this, like, you know, these smartphones, they got two lenses, one in the back, one in the front. So I. Because I was doing a speaking face at the start, I. Um, I, uh, so I've turned it around, so I don't know if uh, this is, uh, I'm let's have a look, let's have a look around the corner, yeah, I think it is, yeah, I'm up, I'm up here, 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 up here, right, Oh, Puskas, I like Puskas. Uh, they're fucking terrible creatures, but you know. Uh, hang on. Oh, Dylan, Dylan. This is. I did this for uh, his granddaughter, Joanna Thomas. She runs a, a fucking alcohol shop in outskirts of Sydney. Uh, Joanna Thomas. Yeah, right. Daughter of his eldest son, Sha William, or Lou, as she told me he's called. And I sent it to her, uh, Dylan Thomas's other daughter, uh, Hannah. Hannah, Hannah. Uh, Palindrome Hannah. You turn her name uh, back and front, back to front, and it, it still says Hannah. And. Uh, I know everything about Dylan. Dylan Thomas, the poet, you know, and, uh, you know, and uh, Jemima and uh, Hannah uh, know me and uh, know I'm, I'm a great fan of him. I understand him because, you know, I'm I'm from Comanche, like all his roots are from Comanche, like, you know, oh, yeah. Dylan's dad. Very clever fella he was. You know, he 
sent a grammar mm -hmm. school and everything and went to Aberystwyth mm -hmm. University to do English language and literature and he got a first class degree. And then the English teacher in Swansea Grammar School up uh, Mount Pleasant Hill. And, you know, uh, oh, Christ, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I, you, you know, there's no two ways of putting it, this. Uh, uh, Dylan Thompson's uh, father was very cranky. <laughs> but he was, he was good with it. Like, oh, Christ, you know, he reminds me of my grandfather. My grandfather, uh, blacksmith of Great Mountain Colliery. You know, like, oh, he used to lose his rag, you know, click of a finger, right, you know, something will spark him off. And Dylan's father would really kick off. Kick off Pigster. Uh, he was head of uh, English language and literature in Swansea University, um, at Swansea um, Grammar School. And Dylan was there, and uh, I met an old boy a few years ago, way back in the 1990s, and he, he was at Swansea, uh, Swansea Grammar School with him, and they said. He was a character. He was rich in, rich in. He bloody, he made the joy of a long dead child. He made a vocational mixture from school. You know, Christ. He was writing poems since he was bloody eleven or twelve. You know, sciences like physics and maths. Christ, he couldn't stand it. He wanted to write, and he did. And uh, oh, and his and his old friend. Oh yeah, another fellow bumped into was a relative of uh, this communist uh, in the paper shop. Uh, oh, don't bloody. And he used to tell me about uh, uh, read something. His his relative was old, old dead relative was called, and, and he said, um, "Christ used to be talking in the shop for uh, a good hour or two about fucking Russian revolutions and everything and bloody uh, the Great Strike and whatever." I was telling all over, so you know, and. Uh, you know, um, oh, brilliant man, brilliant man, you know, and uh, uh, I'm from the same world as him, I'm a commercial lad myself, like like him, you know, even though he was brought up in Swansea, but, you know, it was his parents, uh, <coughs> dad, was, <coughs> dad was born in Brechver, and, uh, 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 and, uh, was it the populace of friends in Johnstone, in Carmarthen, uh, his parents uh, run, and, uh, Oh, yeah, I see. He must have gone to uh, Carmarthen Grammar School, Queen Elizabeth, and uh, and his mother was from the arse end of Carmarthen, down towards Llan uh, Stefan, around that area of Llan is, is that is that way? Yeah, that way. Is it? Yes, that's it. Yeah, on the way to Llan Stefan, and uh, and uh, you know his auntie there. Uh, Funil, Funil, Funil. You know, uh, <laughs> I walk, I've walked past Funil uh, quite a few times, and <laughs> the fellow that lives there now, right? Or, or lady, I don't know, I, I can't know. Who. And they got a bloody sign, was like, Dylan Thomas is. Uh, uh, fans, please yeah, fuck off, well, basically. Uh, please don't knock. <laughs> Dylan Thomas and fans, please fuck off. <laughs> We've had enough of this. <laughs> well, they shouldn't have bought the bloody place in the first place. You know, Chris, I'd love to buy Fernil and it'll be open. Fucking the, the bloody farm gate will be open and I'll be, I'll be able to allow, I'll, I'd allow any, anyone in. What a fucking carry on, man. You know, um, uh, I've helped out in the past, you know, 1990s, I used to spend a lot of time in Pendrake. 
and uh, help out in uh, in Lahan and uh, promoting Dylan Thomas, you know, Browns Hotel, you know, encourage encourage him and uh, that, that Morrissey fella. You know, Chris, uh, uh, Neil Morrissey, you know, and, uh, you know. I saw in the turning so clearly of triumph. You know, I used to say, like, you know, Chris, you know. And, you know, uh, and, and uh, they stored uh, the uh, board toasts and everything, you know, you know. And I helped out, you know, well, I, you know, I'm a sensible fellow, right? You know, I know I know a good thing when I see it. And Dylan Thomas, right, you know, I, don't don't worry about people here in command and said oh, I was a fucking drunk. He wasn't a fucking drunk. He just uh, he's just a very sensitive guy, a bit like me, really. And you know, and Christ. Well, anyway, I've outlasted him. Fucking hell. Tell them I just feel, you know, I'm telling you, if, if I stay, I've been to USA, and if I stayed too long in USA, I, I would have ended up the same as him. Bloody, he went to 39 in New York. It was my year to have stood there in the summer Well, you know, I've got uh, conspiracies, conspiracy theories on that. Uh, but I uh, better not, otherwise CIA will be, be chasing the ass. Anyway, tell them fans around the world, uh, and Jemima and Hannah, and uh, Hugh, Hugh, yeah, uh, Hannah's got a son called Hugh. Yeah, all the best to you all, right? Love and kisses. Uh, happy autumn in a couple of months.